Good morning YouTube. As you can see, sun's out. My mood just goes like that. When it's fucking wet and rainy and windy and all that sort of shit, I'm fucking miserable. Absolutely miserable. Welcome back to another video. Really appreciate, first of all, the support on the re- Oh, look at that. You know when you just get a bit of sun, you just stand there like that. That's nice, that, that's nice. Really appreciate the support on all the recent YouTube videos. We're hitting about 10K views at the moment, which is great to see. And hopefully this year we'll hit 50,000 subscribers, which fingers crossed, as long as I keep putting out content, as long as I'm consistent with it, we'll get there. Moving on from yesterday's, yesterday's? Moving on from last week's YouTube video, where I basically discussed whether I was too fat in my off season and whether I pushed it too far. Obviously, if you haven't watched that, please go and check that out. In today's video, we're gonna move on from that and we're gonna actually look at my blood work at this body weight and whether my blood work is better because a lot of you guys have mentioned how unhealthy I am in some of my recent videos and how terrible I look. Does that actually show within my blood work at this current moment of time? So we're gonna cover that in today's YouTube video. We've also got a chest and tricep session down at Ultraflex Derby. So I'm gonna cover that. And of course, typical Georgie boy shit. So if you are liking these videos, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and let's fucking crack on with this shit, okay? Because we've got some fucking growing to do. Usual shit. Of course, he finds the biggest stick he could possibly find. Yeah, just does this, so. Never, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't, never would change it, you know? As long as they're happy, my, I'm just I'm just happy. You know, when dogs are happy, I'm happy, so. Nice weather, little walk to start off the day. Guys, please tell me I'm not the only weirdo that uses flight radar. Every time we go on a walk, I'm like, oh, wow, plane in the sky, get on my flight radar app. Oh, where's that plane going? Honestly, it's like fucking Pokemon Go, I swear, like I'm actually addicted to it every time i go on a walk i'm always looking where's that plane going then where's it doing there love it one thing i've got to say is our horses so fucking big and eat fucking grass you know what's going on here also they've got fucking massive cocks you can't see with this lens but there's a horse over there and he's hanging bruv man's got the fucking biggest dick done no big dick energy you know done no he got a big dick eating grass alexa turn this batty boy shit off why it's just a baby alexa turn it off Hey, listen, no fucking shit like that. Anyway, latest uh, purchase, which we're really happy about, which makes this very much easier, is showing them the blade, babe. <laughs> Show them what's going on here. <laughs> it's, <laughs> have you just drawn a knob on me or something? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, why did I just assume that you just did that? Of course I knew that. Yeah, we got one of those blades off Amazon and uh, they are very, very good, I must say. It takes like five seconds. We're usually using like a one blade and it was fucking ripping out my hair, but we do this like every other day. It's this fucking fresh, fucking bald head, fucking ready for all the fucking boys in the gym. Right. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say all the girls in the gym? Nah, fuck that, all the fucking boys, that's it. Get out the one blade. <laughs> <laughs> one well, my beard, yeah. we'll be over, we'll be over <laughs> for like a day. We'll be over until it grows back. Okay. Yeah, there's no way I'd shave this ever for anyone. Like a job, if they... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Why well, at the gym? You're gonna be a good girl, okay? And there you go. Gentle, off you go. Stop eating fox shit, because it stinks out the house. Taxi here for George Osborne. Yeah. Cheers, love. Ultraflex Derby. 200. 200? Yeah. How about a little sling in the back of the uh, the back of the car for that little love, alright? <laughs> My mum watches this. No, she does not. Yeah. She doesn't, because she would have commented on the last video that I put in. On the way to the gym with my taxi driver. Shout out, what's your name? Vickster. 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 Oh, Vickster. Like Vickster123. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a little virgin. Does that mean you're a little virgin as well? A little virgin, of course. Nice. I'm eating my meal. Sorry, I'm eating the meal in the taxi. <laughs> Is that okay? It's mine. Good, thank you. <laughs> Beef mince rice. I've added beetroot in. I got myself into a bit of a pickle here and I was looking at stuff online and they said beetroot is very good for pumps. So I've added 80 grams of beetroot, but I don't think I've ever had beetroot or I can't remember ever having beetroot in my life. Give you a little taste test now. I'm going to go for the small one. Is it crunchy? Yes. Okay. Just going to add it with the rest of the stuff. So if I don't like it, I can just swallow it. Sounds a bit sus, huh? <laughs> Taste a bit crunchy. You know what? I'll eat it as long as I can mix it. I'll eat it. So apparently, I googled it. It's got nitrous something in it, which is apparently great for oxygen and blood nitrous to oxygen. the muscle. Is it? Nitrous yeah, whatever. Obviously, man got a uh, fucking A star in uh, biology, so he knows what he's doing. No. Did you? Nah. <laughs> fucking did I fuck? Did I, I was fuck? Gonna say, I was quite impressed. Did I fuck? Yeah, of course you did. But did I fuck get that shit? Fuck that. Fuck school. If you're watching this, you're still at school. 
fucking load of tosh, all right? Yeah, it's great for like little things like that and that, but it doesn't teach you about real life shit, all right? So fuck school. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna try and flirt with my taxi driver, see if she can uh, give me a number, and um, I'll let you know if I, got, if I get successful. So um, yeah, can I have your number? We'll try, we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. My, uh, with my Dragon Ball Z jumper on, like a 12 year old. Oh no, that's it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat this, because if I don't, I've got 44 minutes to get to the gym. Basically means I'm gonna eat my food about an hour, half an hour, I'll probably throw up mid session, so that would be great. So I'll eat this, and uh, let's see. Look at that driver, Gee. We have just arrived at the old gymnasium. <laughs> We have just arrived at the old gymnasium. Oh god. I just went in for a poo. Loving it. Love it. Just, uh, just as soon as I get to the gym, I have like this sort of nervousness over me where I just need a poo. And it's always a bad poo as well. It's like diarrhea. But I had the luxury of going into the disabled toilet. So shout out to the disabled toilet at Ultraflex. Very cozy. Enjoy my shit. I'm in for chest and triceps. You're in for legs. Let's go. Um, that was shit. Me and the 55 kilo dumbbells need a bit of a word today. I tell you, because it's not gone well for the last two weeks, and we're starting to, you know, we're starting to distance ourselves from each other. So we need a little chat. You know, we just need a little talk with each other today. See how things are going, and uh... <laughs> and I'm gonna fucking square up to the fucker and say, look, you fucking better be moving today. I tried 60s the other week, and I got what was it? One or two reps? Two was it? Do you have them on the second one? No, you got three. Three. I have okay. you on the third one. Okay, yeah. So, so I've got two. 60s. So I've got two. Yeah, but pussy. what's the point? Like doing 60 kilos well, you for like moved, two reps? You moved the same. You moved 55 for the same last week, so. All right. God. The weights go from 55 to 60 kilos. I don't know about you guys, but, well, I definitely know about you guys. Pressing progression is like nuts. Like an extra 2.5 kilos to make a world of a difference to an exercise when it comes to pressing. Like you might get 10 reps of 55 kilos. As soon as you go up to 57.5, it's like fucking, you get five reps. You're like, how am I five reps down from like two extra? 0.5 kilos in my hand. Five kilo jump on a press in each hand is quite a big jump. And I tried it and it failed massively. And I don't really believe in doing, I like a bodybuilder, like I don't believe in doing anything below like five reps. I just don't see the point in it. Depending on how I feel today, depending on how things move, warm up, all that sort of stuff, we'll see how we get on. Main thing is for me is just chest is an area that I really need to improve upon. So I just need to make sure that I'm one, progressing lifts, two, actually connecting with the fucking muscle. I always do a pec deck before I go into the set. Things have been good, peak off season, peak off season, doing the ting. We're gonna diet very soon, guys. Be on the lookout for like a mini cut Stress. sort of series that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna probably diet after the Arnold's. I don't really wanna start a diet around the Arnold's, if I'm honest with you, because every time that I've been at an Arnold's, I've fucking been on prep. Last Arnold's, I was on prep. Every time I'm fucking prepping, so I actually just wanna have energy walking around there rather than feeling like a sack of shit. This time, two years ago, we started prep. Did we? Yeah. Two years ago? Yeah. Jesus Christ. And this time, Next year we'll be on prep, and now I'm stressed because I've, I'm still small. <laughs> yeah, same. Fuck knows what I'm doing, but the show goes on anyway. We're still gonna just do the do. We'll see in the gym. I need my beard trimmed because my face looks long as fuck right now. My face look, looks long. Once, see, look at that. Yeah, but look at mine. Look. A little wide lens. Guys. Look at the fucking state of it in my boot right now. A box broke and I haven't changed it. And uh, yeah, we're just here looking like a bunch of scruffy bastards. And it even had an old guy, it must've been about say 60, something like that. He fucking copied on my boot saying how dirty it. So, you may have seen this session before, probably said that already, I have, I remember now. Flat dumbbell press, starting off with uh, two sets on that. Usually the compound work that I'm doing right now is gonna be like a five to nine, and then like a 10 to 12 sort of rep range. It's always been like that, it always will remain the same. Two different loadings in those rep ranges, sound. I then have changed the, um, the incline, so I was doing incline hammer, I was doing it twice in one week. And what I found when I was doing it twice in one week, I was stalling a lot quicker on it. So what I've done is I've just gone, right, let's replace that with another incline movement. So at the moment I've gone for the Sidex Eagle incline press. Do that or the incline Sidex Smith machine. I'm not sure yet, I'll let you know. Then we went on the flat Nautilus. Then we move on to the decline Nautilus fly. Prime dip machine and then an overhead tricep extension. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six seven with abs, seven exercises, only in about 90 minutes. And then also I've got 15 minutes of cardio because even though I'm a fat cum right now, I still do my cardio.
words are fucked. This, very good. It's like a, a roll on deodorant, and all you need to do is just bang it around the elbows, and you'll be sound, trust me. The third session in a row now where dumbbell pressing just hasn't gone right. So like last video, starting off the session, pissed off. I don't know why I get so deep in these sort of things, if I'm honest with you, because it's just training. But you start fucking getting really frustrated. I don't know, just, it's that perfectionist in me, you know? Like, if I'm not progressing, it's not good enough. Um, whereas, you know, really what I just need to do is I, I need to take the flat double press out. I've been doing it for a long time now. And, you know, in these situations, you just need to realize that you run next size into the ground, which is what I've done. So, see you later, fucking dumbbell press. Fuck you, piece of shit. This is why I love this gym, because people just come over and spot you. If you're struggling, people won't just leave you struggling. They'll come over, they'll give you a spot. Which for me, sign me up, fucking sign me up straight away with that shit because that is what I call a proper gym. If people are willing to come over, spot you, go above and beyond, they don't need to, I didn't ask for the spot. That's a very good gym. Gym community, that's how we like it. girl training her abs on oh she can't hear me shit <laughs> sorry she can't hear me i didn't think she could hear me then here we go come on vicky a bit more effort than that just wrapped up the gym a shit start but a strong finish how about you that's really good really good session <laughs> honestly i'm wearing this fucking jumper and i've got all this fucking black shit in my fucking head, i swear to god Going strong, finishing the off-season strong? Yes. I don't want to finish the off-season, that's my issue. Yeah. Usual stuff, you know the score by now. Post-workout meal on the drive home. Did uh, 15 minutes of cardio, Vicky did 10. Even though you guys think I'm a fat bastard, and I think I'm a fat bastard as well, to be honest with you, I'm still doing my cardio. So, mm -hmm. big up the cardio. Big up the cardio gang, Dan. Cardio gang. Oh yes, man. Can I have Vicky gift from you? <laughs> Okay. The uh, the queen can have the chair. The mangy, you're not going to be able to sit here, my friend, because you're taking up too much space. Can you sit there? You can take the kisses. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Vicky got her nails on. Can you scratch my beard with those new nails? Oh, yes. People with beards, you know how nice this feels. Anyway, thank you for that. Vicky is here to interpret my bloods, which is one year post-steroid use and at the heaviest I've ever been right now because a lot of you guys in the previous videos were saying how unhealthy I look and how I look like I've gone massively downhill and my health is the worst it's ever been. So we're going to show you my blood work and does that actually prove what you guys are saying? I'll pass you over to Dr. Victor. Dr. Victor. the big stuff. So red blood cells, fine. <laughs> Everything's really good. So the main thing that we were concerned about here is George's hemoglobin and hematocrit, which was a little bit high last time because you were using assistance. And do you remember what that was? 190-ish? It was around 190. So now it's 157, which is good. So back in rain, the rest no of more it, sticky blood. All good. White blood cells, which show whether you have any sort of underlying infection or not, all in a good spot. <clears throat> Mine clearly would not be right now, Jesus Christ. Clot in stator, so platelets and MPV, fine. Kidney health, really good. Creatinine, 
In their normal ranges. Clearly not training fucking hard enough. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I'm no. fucking fuming about that. That should be off the fucking scale then. These Your are fake. EGFR fake. EGFR is over 90. And that's really rare to see in bodybuilders because of how much protein you consume, how much you train. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I ain't eating enough fucking protein then. No wonder yeah. I'm a skinny fat fucking go. bastard. So next thing, liver health. LT a little bit elevated. Usually people really do stress about this. And of course, if you don't train as hard as you do, take it back oh. now, um, you might be worried about this, but ALT is a non-specific liver marker which means that it's not specific to the liver can be elevated due to other things and one of them is like hard training and you did do this after rusty didn't you yes i did yeah i'm so... still through the fucking roof which is good the higher the better i see it no no <laughs> obviously, obviously monitor it but what you would look at more is the kind of the ggt if that's in a good spot then you know all good there proteins total protein albumin globulin sex hormone binding globulin sound all in a good spot. Diabetes. You're not diabetic yet, which is good. Because George's blood sugars are literally like six at this point. So I'm using insulin. So the HbA1c basically measures how much blood glucose you have in your blood. Wait, how much glucose you have in your blood for a three month period. It's the glucose that attaches to your red blood cells. Your red blood cells are in your bloodstream for three months. So that's why this is a good mark of long term sugar health, if you can call it that, diabetic health. So 33 is actually really good. You're not even like pre-diabetic. That's good. Look yeah. after myself. Shout out the insulin. Yeah. Anything above 48 is diabetic. 42 to 48 is pre-diabetic. I'm pretty good then. Cholesterol status, decent. HDL is a little bit low, so you want to obviously keep that a little mm. bit higher. What can you do to, to help with HDL? Omega freeze. Yeah. Now the annoying thing is I'm taking high strength omega freeze and krill oil. And I was quite surprised with that being very low with the amount that I'm using right now because it was low on the lower end last time I did my blood work. So I've gone over to the supplement needs one now because I still had a fucking like 60 tablet box left and I thought I'd use all that. Then I've gone over to the high strength vitamin, oh, vitamin the high strength I supplement mean, needs one. So we'll retest that in a good couple of whatever. See whether that is where it needs to be. Which is good, but all in all, good. Good. CRP, below yeah. five, decent. Gout Surviving. risk, uric acid, all in a good spot, decent. Iron status. Yeah, I was surprised about this one because I eat red meat every fucking day. Every yeah. day. My iron is quite towards the low end. I don't know this you, I, I don't know what we that means. We won't go into that because it would just be too complicated. Okay, so why is it so low and why is it so high? This is unbound iron binding capacity, unsaturated yeah. iron binding capacity. So that's gonna be high transfer and is the thing that transfers iron. Okay. It's, it's just all different markers. So I have introduced, based upon my iron, it's still in range, but it's definitely on the lower end being 11 and obviously 10 being the lowest. So we've introduced iron... Parasulfate. Parasulfate from Reflex. So added that in. We'll retest that. See, it's not a big problem, but of but course it can I cause you to be tired. But hemoglobin is in a good spot. So when you would consider iron deficiency anemias, if your iron's below range and also hemoglobin's too low, okay. so not too much to worry about. Or the MCV is low as well, but that's in a decent spot. It's okay. not even ranging on eighty. So you're not, you don't have iron deficiency anemia, but your iron is low. So okay. bump that up a bit. Folate, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. All good. good. Supplement vitamin T. Vitamin T. Vitamin T. <laughs> yeah. Vitamin T, you're done. No? Um, vitamin D, obviously, vitamin D3, K2, K2 for the absorption, and sun beds. The same that we ain't been on sun beds for a while. So, vitamin That's D. That's not recommendation from George. But does to vitamin, use sunbeds okay. for vitamin D. But it gets vitamin D up, doesn't it? Yes. Thyroid sound. Yep, yeah, all in a all good, good spot. Your T4 last time was really high, I remember. Yeah, now it's. Yeah, it's de decent. Decent, good. In the middle, bang on the middle. Yeah. Hormones. Now this one's interesting, in my opinion. Yes. Did you want to chat about it? Oh, the main ones everyone looks at is testosterone. Now, <laughs> me, I normally sit in my off seasons around like naturally, thirteen nanomoles. Man is 16.6, .6, so despite being the fattest bastard on the planet right now, I've actually increased my testosterone by two nanomoles. That's good, isn't it? That is, that is that good. Is good. But yeah, just over two, which is big for me because I've always been towards the lower end. Now I'm towards the mid sort of range. Still, now you're back to the zero. Ostradiol, what, estradiol, what's that? Um, oh, that is estrogen. Yes, E2. E2, 
a little bit elevated, but I reckon that's down to me being a bit of a fat bastard right now, isn't it? So when I start losing weight, hopefully that will come down into a bit more of a comfortable range. And then prolactin's an interesting one, isn't it? Prolactin's quite high. So the introduction of the old P5P back mm. in place, 150 milligrams per day. Retest that and hopefully we'll bring it back into sort of a normal range as well, which will be quite interesting to see. But that's a big one that we need to keep an eye on for because it is yeah. quite elevated and it seems to be it's going up. It's not even up. that, it, yeah, it's, it's the, the trend that George has been seeing. So initially it was just above range and then it went a little bit higher and now it's gone a little bit higher again, yeah. um, which obviously you don't want to see and 821 is, I would deem it as a little bit high. A lot of things raised prolactin is not necessarily a prolactinoma which i know a lot of people do stress about stress is yeah. one even Go like on. stress from being puncture so me actually doing the blood for you it's that was quite stressful to be fair adrenal adrenal hormones that again Adre adrenal Adre adrenal adrenal hormones adrenal adrenal adrenal, adrenal. <laughs> okay um that seems to be fine Good. All decent. Even cortisol. Look, cortisol. 214. Clearly, I do not stress you out enough. <laughs> and autoimmunity. Which is your thyroid antibodies. Okay, and that seems to be in a good spot, which is good. So, all in all. George is a fat bastard. <laughs> being a fat bastard has actually turned me into probably by far the best my blood work has been in God knows how long since I've been doing blood work. Minus the estrogen. Minus the estrogen, yeah. That's something that I reckon will come down when I am not as fat as what I am because I've pushed the boundaries too far in this, but I'm wow. hoping that gives you... Hmm? Well, not if you're taking testosterone. Yeah, we need to just keep monitoring things, but one thing that I just want to highlight, although I've been jokey-jokey here, is blood work is so important for anyone, in my opinion, even naturals, you know, because mainly assisted guys, but... For me, like naturals, like I did this when I was natural. So even if you do decide to go assisted one day, you've got that original blood work to go off by when you was natural. And that's super, super important. And the amount of people that inquired to us about coaching or people that we know in the industry that never did blood work before going on a cycle or never really have anything to really go off by, they just sort of freestyle. It actually fucking blows my mind how people work like that. The importance of this is actually educating yourself. And to be honest with you, although I'm still thick shit when it comes to blood work, I'm way more intelligent than what I was this time last year, yeah, thanks are, to actually. Victoria. So I really appreciate Vicky like breaking these things down to me. And I'm not, although I'm not in a position to like give all this and say all this about my blood work, like I know a lot more about it now. Thank you to Vicky to help me, help me explain things in very BTEC languages for me, which is good. So all in all, other than the prolactin and the estrogen, it's fucking damn well good, I think. It's probably the best thing you've had so far. Yeah. Can I just add some? Yeah. I often hear from people that they don't want to do their blood test because they don't want to know. And can I just say, yeah, okay, maybe you can say what don't know don't hurt, but you eventually will find out, especially if you're doing cycles, especially if you're doing assistance, there will come a point at which you will find out. It's just the question is, do you want to find out when you actually get symptoms, when it's much harder to reverse it, or do you want to find out when you've got it in blood work and you can incorporate or change things there and then. I think that's very important to, to remember. And if you can't afford blood work, don't, don't, go steroids. <laughs> yeah, don't do steroids. Yeah, don't take steroids if you can't afford 180 pound on a full not just fucking testosterone score a full blood count oh Absolutely yeah that's important everything. as well because Don't a lot just of people just check their testosterone yeah. and that's it and i think testosterone affects more than just testosterone yeah. <laughs> so many other things in your body yeah you're so true about like i was really scared to actually find out where my blood was blood blood work was to be honest with you like, i fucking hate doing it but at mm. the same time like i would much rather do it keep on top of these sort of things educate myself educate people about this sort of thing and oh my god i've got these symptoms and it's too far gone and i can't do anything about it and i'm gonna fucking die young you know that's the worst thing to, yeah. to possibly come out of it so but people do find out when they have you know some sort of heart attack and yeah whatnot yeah and that's the last thing we want so vicky i say appreciate you breaking down my blood work for me it really means a lot and actually showing people because guys i wouldn't be able to do this without victoria so vicky's a big part <laughs> of everything that i do so i just want to say shout out vicky for sitting down taking a time out of her day to actually do this for me as i really appreciate it we're going to leave it there Please comment down below. Baldy. Baldy. <laughs> well, now people are going to spell that. Comment down below, Baldy, if you've watched today's video. If you found this valuable, then let us know in the comments and you want to see more of this, please let us know. All links down below for supplements, gym accessories, and coaching. So make sure you check them out in the description. And I shall see you guys. We've got the Arnold's, com Arnold's coming up this weekend, so it should be a great weekend. Plenty of vlogging. Stay fucking tuned. It could be
be scammy if you heard that gang went there to no pump and gun. Step that line on line and you owe me blood, then you know I get paid on front, get paid in full when the art gets slumped. Bear to skunk, which one should I put in my b?